Hey there, my friend. Are you feeling socially anxious and struggling with mental health issues? It's understandable, especially in today's world filled with global pandemics and political tensions. But here's the thing, it's not just you. Our systems, even beyond current events, are designed in a way that worsens mental illness. You might be feeling socially anxious right now, unsure how to navigate interactions when you can only see half of someone's face. Maybe you're worried about the lack of connection, feeling unworthy or that others are living a better life. It's a challenging world we live in, and it's easy to feel like we've missed out on something crucial to the human experience. This is not a new concept. Throughout history, great books and religions have explored the idea that we, as a species, have become lost. Mental health problems are not just individual issues but societal and cultural ones. As the late Mark Fisher wrote, they are born out of alienation, dissatisfaction, and disconnection. Sebastian Junger, in his book Tribe, goes even further to say that our society is designed to create mental health problems. It's a culture that leaves people feeling isolated, alone, and worthless. We constantly compare ourselves to others, often leading to suffering. So, if you want to be mentally healthy, you have to find a way to detach yourself from this cultural matrix. But how do we do that? Well, it starts with finding purpose. What is the driving force in your life? For me, it's about having a connection with reality, standing outside the constructs of a consumer-driven culture. And practically, I have responsibilities as a father and partner. But my broader purpose is to be of service and help others without expecting anything in return. So, how do we reclaim our mental health and find that connection? According to Sebastian Junger, part of the solution lies in emulating the conditions for which we are evolved. We are tribal beings, and living a lonely, atomized life defined solely by economic criteria detaches us from reality. We need connection to nature, prayer, meditation, and like-minded individuals to truly thrive. Now, I know that this might be challenging, especially considering your unique circumstances. But here's the truth. The spiritual life is not an add-on or afterthought. It is the main course. Without that connection, without finding purpose beyond the things we can't control, we are destined for a life of suffering. In Herman Melville's Moby Dick, he beautifully captures this struggle between our primal drives and the need to stay grounded. We all have a monster under the surface, representing our primal instincts. And if we lose that connection, we lose touch with ourselves. Melville warns that venturing into the unknown without caution can lead to horrors. But there's also an argument for exploring those uncharted territories, for delving into prayer, meditation, and even psychedelic experiences. However, it must be approached with care and awareness. You may be feeling anxious in a world that seems designed to keep you immobilized, trapped, and spending. But don't despair. Seek your own path back home. Find others who are on the same journey. And remember that from this apocalyptic time, a cultural awakening may arise. Remember, my friend, you are not alone in your struggles. The epidemic of social anxiety and mental illness is a result of willful ignorance. But together, we can make a change. Now, my question for you is this. What actions will you take from this video to implement in your own life? I believe that by subscribing to this channel, liking this video, and hitting that notification bell, you'll not only achieve the benefits mentioned in this video but also join a community of like-minded individuals on a path to reclaiming our mental health. And before I go, if you found this video valuable, consider giving a tip proportional to the value received. The link can be found in the description below. Thank you for watching, my friend. Stay strong, stay connected, and remember that you have the power to reclaim your mental health. Today, I want to share with you the key to becoming a master at socializing and improving your communication skills. It's important to understand that you were not born with a social handicap. As humans, we are innately social creatures. If you were to place a baby in a room full of people, over time, they would learn to speak through pure observation. Why is that? 
It's because the human brain is naturally wired to identify patterns and rules in social interactions. So, why do your social skills sometimes fall short? The answer is quite simple, lack of practice. You see, becoming proficient in any language, including the language of communication, requires practice. You need to give your brain ample opportunities to observe and learn the unique patterns and rules of social interactions. The secret to mastering the art of conversation and improving your social skills is to seek more practice. Interact with as many people as you can. Put yourself out there and engage in conversations. By doing so, you give your brain the chance to learn, adapt, and become fluent in the language of communication. Imagine it as a journey of exploration. Every conversation you have becomes an opportunity to uncover new patterns and rules. It's like discovering hidden gems of knowledge that will enhance your conversational skills. So, don't be afraid to strike up conversations, meet new people, and challenge yourself to step out of your comfort zone. Remember, the more you practice, the more your brain will become familiar with the intricacies of social interactions. With time and effort, you will notice significant improvements in your ability to communicate effectively. But why stop there? Don't just limit yourself to face-to-face -to -face conversations. In today's digital age, there are numerous platforms and opportunities to connect with others. Take advantage of social media, online communities, and networking events. Embrace the vast array of possibilities to expand your social circle and practice your communication skills. Now, you might be wondering, what are the benefits of investing time and effort into improving your social skills? Well, let me tell you. When you become a skilled communicator, you open doors to new opportunities in both your personal and professional life. You'll find it easier to build lasting relationships, make influential connections, and even advance in your career. Think about it. As a socially adept individual, you'll be better equipped to express your ideas, convey your thoughts, and engage others in meaningful conversations. You'll exude confidence, charm, and charisma, making you a magnet for success in all areas of life. So, my friend, the secret to becoming a master communicator lies in one simple step. Practice, practice, and practice some more. Interact with as many people as possible, both offline and online. Embrace the journey of discovery as you unravel the intricate patterns and rules of social interactions. And trust me, the benefits will be immense. Now, I want to ask you a question. What actions will you take from this video to implement in your own life? Will you challenge yourself to engage in more conversations? Will you explore new opportunities to practice your communication skills? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video valuable and beneficial to your personal growth, consider showing your support by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and hitting the notification bell. By doing so, you not only join a community of like-minded individuals seeking personal success, but you also ensure that you'll never miss out on the valuable content we provide. And before we wrap up, I want to mention that if you found this video exceptionally insightful and impactful, you have the option to contribute a tip proportional to the value you receive. You can find the link in the video description. Thank you for watching, my friend. Remember, the secret to mastering the art of conversation lies in practice. So, go out there, engage with others, and become a master communicator. Stay tuned for more valuable content coming your way.